lunch at the Grand Floridian Cafe, guys. Guys, we got a wonderful seat. Look at this view. We were not in this room last time. This is the second time we've ate here. We had dinner here once. So I am really loving this view. And let's see. So we get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. So we're on the deluxe dining plan. And it is a breakfast lunch menu from breakfast until two o'clock. Is um, you can eat off that menu, and it is 1:30. Dinner will start at five. Ooh, the caramelized French onion soup. Ah, oh, smells delicious. Bon appetit. So this was a bad mistake on my part. I, uh, I ordered the lobster burger and I'm just thinking it's just going to be like a lobster and a sauce. Kind of like a, a yeah, kind of like a crab cake is what I was thinking. But it actually came on a burger. So I had to take that off and I'm just eating this little pieces of lobster with whatever sauce it is. I'll make a sandwich out of it that way. <laughs> And Tom just got breakfast, French toast and bacon, a little strawberry. He's kind of curious about, are we gonna get like syrup? <laughs> and I can't eat until I have a drink. I'm just one of those funny people, I have to have a drink to eat. Fries look good. So for dessert, chocolate fondue, berry pyramid, um, a mocha pot de cream, wild strawberry cheesecake, fresh berry tart, char chocolate, I can't see, oh, chocolate timble, and sorbet. I got the strawberry cheesecake, and Tom got, uh, what? The mocha pot de cream, or something like that. And it comes with Godiva chocolate. Now, for the damage, so um, it would have been 76.14, and that is with both of us getting an appetizer, entree, and dessert. Um, actually, only I got a drink, Tom just got water, and yeah, so that's what it would have been out of pocket. So, this is a really nice room to be in because you've really got outside views everywhere since it is a circular shaped room. So this is quite ironic. When we ate dinner, we were one of the last ones in. A little more staying behind this time. So basically where this guy is sitting by this rose bush is where we sat for dinner one time. So we had been in this room. All right, so now on to our review. All right, so the review. Grand Floridian Cafe for lunch. Um, atmosphere, wonderful. It's a restaurant where it's not gonna be crowded. Um, we got sat a little faster. We've ate there before and even with our reservation we had to wait almost 30 minutes to get sat which was really weird at night for dinner. But we were sat within about seven minutes I think of reservation time. Yeah it wasn't very long. Yeah midday was and midday was nice you know it's got lots and lots of windows out to the front side of the Grand Floridian there so yeah. you know it's a very um, open feeling to the Definitely. restaurant there. Um, so we did the Delta dining plan, like I told you. Appetizer, French onion soup. We didn't even doubt, I mean, I don't even think I glanced at all the options. Yeah. Because I knew that's what we wanted. Yeah, I ordered French onion soup because it went great with my breakfast entree. <laughs> yeah, he decided to get breakfast. It didn't matter. Like, the you soup, saw. The soup is awesome. Um, still the best I've had on property here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all done the right way What'd for me. What'd you think of your French toast? French toast was neat. Um, it, it was, you know, some fairly, th uh, French toast was my entree. Um, and uh, it was fairly thick, um, very nicely prepared, and it had this really, really good uh, vanilla bean butter for it. And uh, some, uh, when the, and when they remembered to bring that and the syrup, and uh, I put that on there, oh darn it, it was really good. No, no complaints at all about that. Bacon? 
Uh, bacon was just fine, you know. Um, I had a major brain foo-foo, <laughs> which I think I said. I saw lobster burger, was thinking it was something like a crab cake, and it ended up being like a lobster cream sauce on top, I mean big chunks of lobster now, on top of a burger. And you guys know I don't eat beef. So they brought that out, and I was like, oh my gosh, just didn't even click that this could be and it didn't click with he him either because he heard no, him order no. it. I, I mean I uh, when I heard lobster burger I, I thought crab cake type yeah. thing too so so anyway we I didn't read the menu beyond like the name of the entree well, though, actually, so we can't say that it was misleading say. or something I don't know if it, I mean I thought I glanced at it I don't know it doesn't matter it's not it like there were mistake. a ton of other burgers and it was in that vein you know that was like the only burgerish type it, thing right. out there and so I just took the patty off and there you go. He brought me, he saw the plat, um, patty sitting there when he brought him his butter and syrup. And he wanted to know if something was wrong with it. So I explained the situation and he um, brought me some extra like lobster sauce. Yeah, they offered to, you know, well, not even really make it right, but, you know, bring her something else if she didn't like that. And, but, uh, yeah. you know, so they, they, they were pretty decent about the whole they thing. They were, and I was not going to have them bring me up, cook me a whole nother meal at their expense when it was my mistake. So I'm not going to do that. Brought that. Um, I took a couple bites of it. The lobster and the cream sauce was fine, but my bun. First, I'd taken one bite and I took the bottom bun off. I realized that too much grease had just soaked through from the burger and I thought, ooh, I don't, I don't want to eat that. And, but then, so I kind of ate, uh, ate it like an open face the next bite and I thought, oh, it's not just that. They've really greased up the buns and it was too much. I don't eat a lot of fried food other than french fries. Yeah, it was probably a nicely buttered um, yeah. bun if you were going to have a burger, but that's not what she was mm -hmm. after. It was too much. It would have made me sick to my stomach. So took that off and then I just ate, picked the lobster with a fork, which wasn't a lot. Ate that. Fries were fine. Um, they were highly seasoned, highly salted. So I didn't finish the fries because I'm not accustomed to salt. I don't even cook with salt. So they had a, you know, I took a couple bites of his French toast. Yeah, yeah. And I, that was a dessert. I, yeah, I, just, I was. That I, was a dessert. Yeah, I mean, there were three pieces of that, and they were generous sized, you know. Yeah. Well, there were three half pieces, and it was a big old loaf of bread, I guess, they got that stuff out of. So uh, she had the better part of the last piece, and I was more than full. And, um, and dessert was really good. Though. They had a nice selection they of did. desserts. I rarely can look through eight dessert items and say, yep, I, I'd have any of those. And fruity, just light and fruity, other than, well, I don't know what yours. Anyway, the cheesecake, huge strawberry on top, very fresh, the strawberry sauce, just a little drizzle, perfect. Cheesecake was just dissolved in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, not, not a huge portion. Mm -mm, no, um, little, but, but it was definitely enough. Yeah, and I had the mocha pot, Brulee, the uh, something de, brulee, the creme, something. Yeah. It was basically uh, a, a custard and whipped cream uh, mocha flavored um, in a nicely chilled small. Uh, what do you call those things? Demi tasse cups, little little espresso cups. So it wasn't a lot. Uh, again, it was a small volume, but it was very very flavorful. One of the best flavored desserts I have in any memory here yeah. it was really really good and it came with two pieces of chocolate on top the chocolate chips or something yep. right yep. and then the Garade uh, Garadelli um the Garadelli little chocolate straw um our server mm, not much personality i um it's gonna get loud we're at a bus stop but we're gonna wrap it up server would have wished we would have had a different one. I tried to even engage him in some conversation, just not a lot of personality. Um, as always, Grand Floridian Cafe, we would definitely go back. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, just no, that, for the French onion soup and nothing else. No, that, this is one of those places, good atmosphere and great food. Um, lots yeah. of, what, what do you call those things? Uh, ears up? Oh, two ears up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so. Two ears up. 
So check it out. Uh, if it's one to at least try one. Alright. All right. <laughs> See you at the park, guys. Every city, every place